Hey guys, it's Katie over at Katie K Plans, and today I'm showing you guys how I use a weekly and a daily planner in my lineup for 2022. This is my current planner stack. I don't even like using that word because I feel like planner stack is just so limiting, but this is what I'm currently in right now, and I'm going to show you how I use them, why I use these two planners, and how I set them up. Alright, so here are my two planners that I am currently using. I have an A5 Plum Paper Vertical Priorities. I absolutely love this. I had this in the 7x9 last year, used it for 2021, more so as like a content, just kind of like a catch-all planner and loved it. And then I'm like, I need to order another one for 2022. So ordered this, got it probably like mid-January and started using it, have been using it ever since. And then I also have a 7x9 Erin Condren Daily Duo. This is brand spanking new for me. This is like completely new territory. I am used to using the Erin Condren Hourly. I've used the Erin Condren Vertical and love it. I love their paper. It's just an overall great planner that they create um, over at EC. So... I have randomly decided to try this out. I have ultimately used a plum paper daily. I've used um, the Moxie Life Undated. I've used the EC Petite Planners, the Simplified Daily. I've used all of them. Um, and nothing has really like stood out to me. I liked the Moxie Life Daily, but I just kind of got tired of the cover. I got tired of like writing my times in. I just needed something that was a little bit more structured um, and not so many different things happening all in one page. I decided to try this one out. I ordered this one off Amazon because I'm terrible at waiting and I wanted the prime two day shipping. So um, you get the two packs. So this was the January to June. Then you get the July to December. You get to pick your covers. They're not personalized obviously, but it did still come with the welcome pack. Still had the coupons with them. So it was actually really nice and it was here in two days. So you can't beat that. So let me tell you why I'm using a weekly and a daily, and then we'll just kind of jump in and see how I set them up and how they work best for me. So I use this weekly planner. It is kind of like my catch-all. I was using the monthly view as well in this one, but I've learned that the A5 calendar size just doesn't really work for me. I like being able to use whatever stickers I want. And then plus with plum paper, the header up here is so tiny that it's hard to find like specific sticker kits for it. So um, for February, I didn't even set it up yet. Um, I can't remember if I ordered a sticker kit for February or not for the A5, but it's not even here yet. And I'm not gonna worry about it if I did. The weekly view I use as just a general overview. I do not get really drawn out in my list. I don't write a bunch of things on it. This is literally, I can look at it and be like, yep, that's what I had to do for the day and it's simply an overview. For my daily, this is basically, I like to tell people that this is like my zoomed in view of my weekly planner. So I didn't have it in time for January. I believe I started this literally on Sunday that it arrived. So I received this on Sunday and I, I even, I planned it at the same day. And I love this planner so much. I did not know if I would like the seven by nine size, but I really wanted to use like my seven by nine covers that I had already had. And I wanted the full size of the monthly view. That was one of the biggest takeaways for me. And so that's why I got it. So this was the first spread that I did. And I'll just kind of walk you through some of these spreads. And then I do like that you have like little note sections, like this was a live with Lauren Jen on Instagram. And I just think it's, it's really nice. I do wish there was more notes pages in it because I like to have like dot grids or something like in the back so I can, I don't know, just like make more notes than what it offers. Um, so here's my monthly view. This is just a Planner Kate sticker. I've got some Chrissy and Designs um, celebration stickers on here. Simple, I just keep track of bills. I don't like go crazy, but it's enough stickers to like really spruce it up, which I like. So here are some more daily pages. So this is really just a zoomed in view of my week. So this was February 1st, so let me 
pull up February in my planner here. Um, let's go to actually February 7th. So I'll walk through this really quick, just so you can kind of get a general overview. Like some days I don't have a lot going on. Other days I do. Um, and I won't even like cross everything off and I don't even care. Like if I didn't do it, that's fine. I'm going to give myself grace there. And I kind of like that about this planner is that I can write all the things, but if I don't finish it, I don't finish it. And I can just move it over or plan for another day to work on that. So this is kind of what it looks like. I even just went like all pin here. I used one of the Erin Condren dual tip markers. Actually, I actually really like it. So it's kind of nice that it can be like dressed down, dressed up with stickers and you have that variety. Okay, so this is where I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like. So for Monday, which is here, Monday the 7th, this is what my weekly view looks like. So I do put in like my meals and then things that I do really want to focus on because I'm off on Mondays. So like Saturdays and Mondays are some of my higher content creation days or whatever you want to call them. And then I did have some priorities. I wanted to run errands and drop off a package. So that's what my Monday looks like in my overview, in my weekly overview. And this is what it looks like in the daily. So it's basically just like a zoomed out version of my weekly. So I have all of my to-do list here. You can see I do not write them out over here. And then I have all the things I wanted to do for my content. I have everything that I wanted to do to tidy up, things at home. And then over here, you know, I'll put um, drop off package, which obviously didn't get done that day, even though that was my top priority. It happens. So that is what it looks like. And I just really love the look of this. So here is Tuesday. Again, you can see work. And then I did have, we have like church prayer here. Um, and then just some work things that I really wanted to catch up on. Catch up was my focus. Um, so that's what I did at mostly at work. And then I did get some stuff done. There's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'll show you Saturday as well. I didn't write anything on Saturday because honestly, I don't know like what my weekends are going to look like. I am one of those people that in the daily, like this could be Saturday and Sunday for me on one page. It would not bother me. I know I'm probably in the minority on that. I just don't do a ton of things on Saturday, Sunday. So um, I just kind of wish it was all on one page, but again, I know I'm probably in the minority. So I didn't have anything written here, but for Sunday, literally all I had was 10 a.m. for church. We we're going to go out for lunch and then we did have a Super Bowl party. I really didn't get to plan too much. And this is what my Sunday looked like. I just took some mile liners, some pins, wrote down a little blurb about what we did. That was literally my to-do list. And we just enjoyed time together with friends, played some games, watched the game, ate good food, and that was it. So that's kind of how my overview looks. And then up here for this week, I did use this as an actual habit tracker. That's kind of how I've been using it. And then I do sometimes, and I just, yeah, it's right here. I did use that here and it's the same thing, but I just kind of wanted to carry it over with me. Let me see if I can find those habit tracker sticky notes. So here's what the habit trackers look like that I use. This is a smaller version. This is from Moxie Life. I really, really like this one. It just comes in this little sticky pad. I did cut it down to kind of fit in this section here, but it would fit perfectly down in this little corner of your EC Daily Duo. Again, this is seven by nine. Don't know how it would really fit in the A5 Daily Duo square, but this is kind of what it looks like in an A5 size. And then this is the cloth and paper one. I really like this one too, but it is a little bit bigger. Um, but if I cut it down and actually like took this part out, it would fit nicely in here. But I typically use this one just because I like it and it works better for me. So, so that was the only week that I actually took my habit tracker and moved it around from day to day. I moved this thing like, I don't know, probably five times and then just ended up leaving it on Thursday and it worked out really, really well. So that was kind of nice. I should have just left it on, you know, Sunday, but I don't know. Anyway, so back to this is where we left off. So then you have Valentine's Day, Tuesday. This was really, really bare bones. <laughs> 
So I just used a highlighter pen. I just had a lot of things to do and I didn't really have time to like, you know, make it pretty. So we just left it as that. Again, I don't finish every single task. Some days I do. Some days I'm like really, really good about it. And then here is Friday and I kind of did a little bit different thing here because of some things at work that I wanted to do. I did not do the, um, a couple tasks over here. So I just put a little arrow to the right to like know to move them forward. And then I have my, you know, little shopping list of things, random things that I need to pick up. And then here's where we currently are. I'm gonna show you what I do. So this is the current week. So actually, no, I lied. This is the week that we're on. So Saturday, I did write a few things here. I ended up stickering quite a bit here and you can see I didn't even like mark my habits this week. It was a little bit busy, but I went through and here's my content. And then I did have a little sale here for goats. So we have that going on here and then I didn't put like tidy up and do things here, but I did put that over here. So that is how I plan basically my week. And then for next week, since I always set up my weekly, I always use this again as an overview. I did a little bit differently this week, kind of went back to my roots of just like some minimal stickers. Um, this was fun, but it's not really what I do all the time. This is more like my style and I did take some little tips from Rachel over at The Redesigned Life. You should check her out on Instagram. I love her. She's so talented. Love all of her bullet journal stuff, but she is currently in a vertical priorities as well and totally inspired this spread. So I took some of the um, clear, what are they? Clear color dots, I think is what they're called. Clean, clean color dots. I took some of those and just used that as like a little date dot got that idea from her. And then I went through and again, just did a weekly overview. The one thing that I did different this week that I love so much is this little corner here. I no longer did this as a habit tracker. I just put a couple stickers down and now it's my meal plan for the week. So I don't even have to worry about like going back and checking things off in here, which honestly is way easier for me. I usually leave this sitting out on my desk, even though it's very portable, I could take it with me. It's not one that I normally take with me. It's just one that I check in with throughout the week. One thing that I do quite a bit in my planning, I will always, after I plan my week out, I will always reference it while I'm planning out my day. So for next week, I will look at my weekly and see what needs to be done. And then I will even like in the future, put different post-its down. So let's see, like I'll put it on the monthly. I've got some, like our dog is due for some shots, possible book club coming up, but I'll throw some stickers down and it makes it just so much easier. Um, so we have like a birthday party at work, have to figure out when that's gonna be. I plan on going to visit family for my niece's birthday, but I have that stuff like all throughout this planner. You'll find like random little sticky notes of things that I just wanna remember and it's just easier to do it like that. So that is how I set up and use. Again, it does not have to be hard. Like do not make this hard. I do see like a lot of people are like, I don't know how you can use two planners. Well, what they're trying to do is put all of their to-do lists and everything in this planner, then they're duplicating it and putting it in a daily planner. And yeah, that would be kind of, you know, a lot of work. If you like to do it, do it. But I do see that that could be a lot of work because I was previously doing that until I like told myself, no, I've got to use this strictly as an overview and that's just how it works best for me. So just to show you some of my old weekly spreads, this one was an absolute favorite. I love the highlighters and pins. I do try to like sticker every once in a while, but it just doesn't happen all the time. This one was like a super busy week, so it was not pretty. Love this one. That was for Valentine's Day week. And then this one is probably my favorite, honestly. So that's how I set up my planners. Um, if you guys have any questions as to anything that I may have missed in this video or any questions on how to use a daily and a weekly, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your favorite part about a daily and a weekly. I would love to hear your thoughts. You can definitely catch me over on Instagram. I'm there 
95% of the time posting and, you know, interacting with people and it's just a whole fun vibe over there. So definitely check me out for more planner inspiration. Thanks for watching.